mean. It's been a little while since we've had a vlog. Um, I did attempt to vlog last week. It was a hot mess. Half of my footage went missing because I've been working on the toothless kick. Um, I filmed it as a tutorial. I filled the card several times over and somewhere in that uploading and moving around of the video files, my vlog ones went missing. But honestly, it doesn't matter because it was just a hot mess. <laughs> I started vlogging and said that I'd see you later and then it was like two days later. So the footage going missing is not a great loss. Yeah, it's just been, it's been a long while since we've had a vlog. I'm just not feeling it. And I don't know what that it is, or I think I do. I've just lost my way a little bit. I'm just so busy. I don't know what to talk to you about. I feel like I'm boring you to death. I'm sitting doing editing today. I'm s In fact, I'm sitting and waiting for my Q&A video to upload that I filmed this morning. And after this, I'm starting editing the toothless kit. So it's just boring stuff for you to listen to. And I'm also not doing well, as odd as it sounds, with my teeth. You know, if you're a long time vlog watcher, you'll know I've always had trouble with my teeth. I went for my root canal, you will remember I came home saying that I could still feel it. So the root canal hasn't worked. Something went wrong, it's not worked and I have to go back and get it redone. But my dentist was on maternity leave. I had to go in and see a different dentist who picked around at the back of my front tooth, pinged something off, and then a day later my veneer fell off. So my two front teeth here are veneers. I've had them for years. I, I don't know what to even guess, at least six years. And they've been fixed in place, good to go for six years. And she pinged something off at the back and it fell off a day later. That wasn't great. It got stuck back on. It got stuck back on at a funny angle. It came off again. I stuck it back on with some temporary stuff from Home Bargains because I don't want to go back to that other dentist. I'm waiting for my other one to come back off maternity leave. It's temporarily fixed in, again, still at an angle because of all the stuff, the glue stuff was, I, I'm not a dentist. I can't get it off without the dentist tools. So it's stuck on at a funny angle and I haven't been able to eat anything properly since then because I don't want it to fall off again. So all of my food, my dinner, my tea gets cut up into little tiny squares as if I'm a toddler so that I don't have to bite anything. It's just little square size. Even my beloved pizza, I cannot bite a slice of pizza. So I have to cut my pizza up into little squares so I can put it in my mouth without having to bite with my front teeth, which means I've been using my back teeth a lot. And because of that, a massive filling from the back fell out. <laughs> So it's not, it's not been great. So obviously I've not been feeling very good about that. I'm quite self-conscious and not really wanting to film anything. However, I did film something that I was supposed to insert into the next vlog. It's weeks ago now that I filmed this, but it is the saddest thing unless you are at peak adulting. And what I mean by peak adulting is that you get excited about new home gadgets, such as hoovers. So I bought a new hoover for the studio. You know what it's like, little bits of sprinkles, they bounce everywhere, they need hoovering up, there's crumbs everywhere, little off cuts of ribbon, things like that. So I bought a new hoover for the studio and I decided to go for the same hoover that we have at home. The one we have at home is a Dyson V10, but I think it's the animal version. Now, we can't really afford to buy a Dyson. If you can, if you can outright buy a brand new Dyson, you are living the dream and I'm very jealous. But what I actually did was buy a refurbished one, which is really rare for me. No, this isn't cake related, but I watch vlogs myself. They're not cake vlogs, I watch vloggers. And when they post about stuff like this, I find it really helpful. And I just enjoy watching stuff like this. So I thought I would pass it on. I'm not one to buy anything refurbished because I think, well, it's already been broke once. How long is it gonna last, do you know, once it's been refurbished? But I heard that Dyson refurbishments pretty much arrive still looking brand new, if not mostly brand new. So I decided to buy one and 
it arrived, it was perfect. I was blown away and I ended up getting another one for the studio. So what I went for is the same one, the V10, except it wasn't the animal version, it was the absolute version. Now you buy these from the Dyson outlet through eBay and do not pay whatever it says. Whatever it says the price is, don't pay it because there is always a code. There's a code every single month for money off. So look for one of those. It's a Dyson related code. So it'll be like Dyson September for September, Dyson Oct for October. But have a little look around. It will get you lots of money off. I think I paid, I'm going to guess, £270 for a refurbished v10 absolute with all the accessories and this was me unboxing it i just filmed it and i'm sorry that it's not going to match up with me speaking about which which attachments are which but as you can see from me opening this box there are only two items that show any signs of wear all the rest are completely brand new and unused and i can tell this because the tools all have like a little strip of furry red material on them and even using that once it will show wear and all these pieces didn't have any wear apart from one the other piece that had wear on it was the actual main body of the hoover itself again very minimal um so these are things that maybe people have used not liked it sent it back they don't necessarily have an actual problem with them and what dyson will do is fix any problems or just clean it throw in all the new attachments to make up a full system and send it out as refurbished. So yeah, um, I don't, like I said, I don't buy refurbished stuff because I'm very wary of it. I would rather save up and buy brand new, but brand new Dyson's, and we try to live within our means. We very much live within our means and a, and a like four or 500 pound Hoover is not something we would choose to spend our money on. Um, but a refurbished one that arrives looking brand new, works brand new, is good enough for me. So if that helps any of you out there, even just having a look at what, what you get in the box and see what sort of condition everything's in, anything with any little bits on that you're seeing in the video is just dust. It's not dust from the use of the Hoover, it's dust from the cardboard box. It's cardboard box like little fibres and stuff. Um, they're just a, they've just attached to it through static when it's in the box. But honestly, 80% of this is brand new attachments. Um, it sounds like a massive ad. It sounds like a big sponsored thing. I'm not sponsored by Dyson. I haven't been paid to say any of this. I just thought you may benefit from this like I have. Um, like I said, I watch vloggers all the time who talk about stuff like this and what they've bought or what they use. Um, and I just find it really interesting, so... It, it's better than saying I'm just waiting for a YouTube video to upload. So I filmed my Q&A, my exclusive Q&A for my cherries this morning. We were talking about my entire booking process from start to finish or how people get in touch and how it turns into an order and things like that. Another one asked about uh, printed portfolios. Do I have an actual printed one? Are they worth it? Where do I get them from? And another question was on Photoshop. Um, drawing the cakes in Photoshop and how the like the layers work. So that's just a little snippet of the qu sort of questions I answer, um, and I answer them like this in video form, so they're a bit more in depth than just a typed answer. So I'm just waiting for that to go up. And I have the biggest job list in the world today that I'm trying to work my way through. Um, my mum and dad are calling calling later on this afternoon, so I'm trying to get as much work done as I can before they arrive. <coughs> Otherwise, as I hate sitting here having work to do, I feel like I'm ignoring them because I don't get to see them a lot, as you can tell, we're just working 24 seven at the moment. Another thing what happened on the week that I was supposed to be vlogging, I took my camera, was we went to see Beauty and the Beast at the theatre. So we went to Liverpool to see this, which isn't the closest theatre. It was a good hour, 20 minutes away, but it was the only one that was showing it near us. Um, amazing show if you get to go and see that. There's two numbers which are obviously going to be really good, which is Be Our Guest is a given. And Gaston's song, they made them quite a bit longer and they were amazing to watch. Obviously I was supposed to be vlogging so I took my camera and I always forget because I don't want to leave my camera in the car. So I always put it in my bag but they, they were doing bag searches and she's, she just looked at me with this massive camera in my bag. I mean, you've seen this, I've shown you the camera before. It's massive. And she looked at me and she was like, you can't film the show. And I'm like, 
I know, because I always forget that it's in there. I'm like, I'm sorry, I bring it everywhere. I'm not filming the show. And then you just feel really bad. Um, but yeah, it's it's a really good show if you want to go and watch that. Um, and I obviously had to pick up the pin. So this is the Beauty and the Beast pin. That's the poster for the show. It is one heck of a thick pin. It's really, really chunky and thick. And it also came with the Mickey-shaped uh, backing. So a lot of the Disney pins have like Mickey shaped backing, but I weren't expecting this one to have one, but there it is. So that's our latest pin on the board. I'm going to have to try and go around this massive one. I still can't get over how big that is. Um, I'm going to have to kind of go underneath this one and continue across there. But I, I don't know which ones you've seen since. That was um, Six the Musical. Adam and Kai went to uh, the F1. We got this one at Seaton Tramway when we went down south to deliver a cake. We had our second vaccination, so we are now fully vaccinated. This was our anniversary. Do you know how each anniversary is given, like, golden or silver or whatever? This was our Willow anniversary, so I got a Willow VHS pin. And then, obviously, Beauty and the Beast Theatre. You'd think the house would be tidy now that I took all my cake stuff to the studio. You show, I showed you in the last vlog how empty all the cupboards were and I didn't know what to put in them but I have filled them because I decided to get some of the Christmas stuff down from the loft. Yes, Christmas stuff. I have a whole cupboard down here. Um, this is now all our Christmas stuff. This is a new addition I got in from B&M the other day. And this is a new addition and it comes with some matching mini deers for the tree all my polar bears are in here i've got my crackers already i have christmas glasses is any does anybody else do that does anybody else have christmas dinnerware that only comes down at christmas these are glasses with a gold rim and matching gold cutlery and i'm on the hunt for some gold rimmed plates this year in fact to be honest we found some gold rimmed plates and we went to dunelm and they had some and we were going to pick the, bo pick the box up and we couldn't decide whether to get them or not because we needed two sets and it was going to cost us £60 and we were like, can we afford to do this? So Adam went, well, we'll put it back, we'll walk around the rest of Dunelm and decide. So we walked around the rest of Dunelm to have a look at what else they'd got and when we'd come back, <laughs> just as Adam went to go and get them, there was this little old deer in her wheelchair that snatched them right under Adam's nose. I couldn't stop laughing. Because she was eyeing them up as we were in the in the aisle looking at them the first time round. And we noticed she were after some sort of plates, but didn't realise she was after the ones we had hold of. <laughs> so it was literally as we put them down, she snatched them straight up. <laughs> and Adam's like, she's took my plates she took the very last box so i mean i could order them online it's no problem i just find it very funny <laughs> yeah i have my little christmas cupboard now that's got christmas stuff in i know we're in october i don't care if it cut me off i just went to edit this little bit of vlog and realized the camera had completely cut off the entire last part of what i was saying so basically i was saying i know that it's october and i don't care if people think it's early or not because I just like Christmas. I like going out and buying all the little bits that come out in the Christmas shop to add every single year. I am being good. I would put my Christmas tree up now, but I'm being good. And I think it's possibly going to go up the second or third week in November, I think. But yeah, I just wanted to add that back in soon as it cut me off and I'm going to work through the rest of my to-do list and see how far I get. We have progressed quite quickly from the autumn videos straight into Christmas videos, and this one is a 10 hour long Happy Christmas jazz music. It is now the next day. We had our social media blackout last night. If you remember, we had six hours of no Instagram and no Facebook, which was fine for me because I was still editing. <laughs> It's taken me all day yesterday. Um, I started editing once my mum and dad left and I was still editing around about half nine last night. But I got the whole first chunk done. So this morning I am doing the script and the voiceover and doing the last edit and because it needs to go up tonight at five o'clock. So I am a little bit behind. I also have to go and collect my backboard for the studio today. This is what goes on the wall behind the worktop. So instead of towels, because 
I do a lot of airbrushing and the airbrushing can actually stain the grout in the tiles when you go to wipe them down. It can be harder to get the colours out of the grout so I've just decided to go for a plain straight run of laminate splashback, backboard, backsplash, whatever you want to call it and um, so I can just wipe it all down. Found a different person to come and fit that for me so hopefully he can fit that in at the weekend. <laughs> at the minute it's still at a complete standstill. There's been no work done on it for months now and the original joiner doesn't know when he's going to come back so that's where we're at with that one. I've also caught up with Cake Tober today. So if you don't know what Cake Tober is, it is a prompt list I created for the month of October. Um, I'll put it on screen so you know what I'm talking about. But basically every single day in October you post a different cake or picture that goes along with that day's theme. So today is the 5th as I'm filming this. So the theme is autumn and everybody is now posting autumn related cakes or autumn related pictures onto their Instagram. It's just a fun little game. What it does is keeps your Instagram account active, gives you a reason to post. Um, gives you ideas on what to post and when you use the hashtags hashtag caketober or hashtag caketober2021 you're able to click on those and see everybody else who is playing as well and discover some new cool accounts to follow that you might not have found otherwise. So because of the social media blackout yesterday I have been catching up with that this morning because what I've been doing is sharing some of your hashtags, some of your posts to my Instagram stories to share them a bit more. I mean, this video doesn't go up until I think possibly the 14th of October, so we'll be halfway through by then. But you can just join in at any time. You don't have to start from the beginning. You can just jump in. Um, it's only a little bit of fun. And I am blown away with how well this has gone. There's so many people playing along now because yesterday's prompt was workspace. So I've been able to have a look at all your workspaces, your kitchens, your cake sheds, your cake corners, your cake rooms and your cake tables. Um, so that was fun to look through. But I am going to get, get on with this because it needs to go up for five o'clock. I have Kai at home with me today because he has an inset day at school. So you might not see me much today because it's just boring admin. It's Wednesday today and I am in the studio for half a day today. So I'm just about to pack my work bag because um, there's a lot of stuff that I need at the studio and at home. So I have to keep ferrying it back and forth and it's really annoying when I forget one critical piece and it's always in the wrong place. But I've got my three folders. So I have these three A5 folders. So the blue one is orders that I'm working on this year. So 2021 orders. The purple envelope is floating cake orders. And by floating cake orders, I mean that they may be needed to be rescheduled and haven't given me a new date yet. Um, people who have got in touch that needed to move their dates. That's maybe not even COVID related. So basically they're, they're the kind of orders that I need to keep my eye on <laughs> that will eventually make it into one of the pink or blue envelopes. So the pink envelope at the back is 2022 and beyond orders. I just prefer to have them all separate because if somebody wants to talk about the 2022 cake, I know to pick up my pink envelope and it'll be in there. And I know if they're talking about a cake this year, it's in the blue envelope. So these come to and from the studio with me. This is my little work bag. <laughs> it, it really just looks like a, a child's school bag. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. The next thing that comes with me is my weekly planner. I cannot live without my weekly planner. It tells me what I need to do every single day. I have my laptop. The amount of things on this is ridiculous. So I've got my laptop that I can do my editing on. It's also got Photoshop on. This is my hard drive. It's two terabytes. I'm pretty much already full. My card reader. So I put my SD cards in that slot because the laptop doesn't have an SD card reader. And my pen tablet. So this is the little pen. This is the pad and it's essentially my mouse. This is what I use as a mouse. I've just got used to it now. I just find it much quicker and easier to use and it is very dusty. 
because I haven't used it since last week. So this has to go in my bag as well. Oh, I nearly forgot this. This is something I forget all the blooming time. It is my plate that I attach my video camera to when I am filming tutorials and it sits in my tripod and I either leave it at the studio or I leave it here and it's really annoying because I then take my camera off this to attach it to what it's on now. I'm holding like a little mini tripod. It's such a little thing that I keep leaving behind. Also, really random while I'm here, um, Kai put his wet school bag on our little armchair and it's left a little wet ring so if anybody knows how to get these out because if I try to wet this again with a sponge or whatever it just gets bigger and bigger <laughs> the, the patch just gets bigger so if anybody knows how to get rid of like watermarks that would be really handy because it's right in the middle and so annoying I also have to take my phone my video camera and the card that's in it I also have to get my Elmley cream out of the fridge and take it to the studio because obviously we pick that up when we do the food shop and it needs to go in the fridge so we put it in the fridge and then have to take that to the studio. So as you can tell, I'm still not there yet with the organisation of what needs to be at home and what needs to be at the studio. There's just so much to think about that I think I've got everything, like I've packed my bag and then I'll go and go, I didn't bring the cream, the cream is still in the fridge or butter's still in the fridge or like that little tripod thing like I can't film tutorials where like that little black thing and I always forget something so it's just been really frustrating but I'll get there I just have to go through all this to set my brain up and thinking do not forget <laughs> the butter I didn't go and get my backboard yesterday because Adam forgot to request the van. Um, they have a van at work. It's literally down the road where we're going. It's, it's like a two minute drive, but we need the van because it's three meters long. So we're going to go and do that at dinner time today instead. And then after dinner, we're going to take it to the studio and then I'm going to be there until five o'clock because I have two parcels arriving and I'm very nervous. I'm nervous about the contents, but I'm also nervous about the parcels themselves because three times I have given out the address of the studio and three times the parcel's gone to the wrong place. So the first time I gave the address out was my fridge. They, they took the wrong turn in. The basically the postcode texts them to the next building down the road. So they tried there first, but luckily they rang me and I was able to say, no, come down the road a bit further. The second one was the consultation. I feel like I've told you this before. Have I, have I said this before? I'm really sorry if this is the second time you're hearing this, but I give, the, I give the postcode out to my consultation couple and they ended up pulling into the wrong building up the road. And then the last one, which was like a red rag to a bull, was DPD, left it at the building up the road. Um said that I wasn't in and took a picture of the door to say like you weren't in and I'm like that's not even my door but the problem with DPD is there is no humans to talk to the phone line is just a continuous loop of automated stuff the chat box completely useless he actually left the chat when I said well I need to be able to get in touch with the driver to say that he's going to deliver to the wrong address because once they've delivered once they'll attempt again but they're going to attempt again at the wrong address so I was basically telling him this and he left the chat box <laughs> um and what's really annoying is like you can see them going to the wrong place but there's no way of getting in touch with them because it's it's not as if it's like just next door the ne next building it's down the road so I can't quickly run and catch him um, and there's no phone numbers for the DPD drivers and then they don't ring you either to say like where are you they just attempt to deliver to the wrong place and then disappear so I have DPD again coming today and DHL so we're going to see if they can get the right place one is in fact both of them are cherry mail items I've been really organized and sorted out October November and December's cherry mail so I have two lots of cherry mail arriving. One I have shipped in from America and the other one I've had done in the UK. So I'll see if I can show you anything when they get here. So I'm just at my desk eating my dinner and I've had a text to say, Joanne, my DPD driver is 30 minutes away. So we're going to see if she makes it. The building is through these windows here, which I'll show you in a second. 
but I'm just having these. They sell these in Tesco and also Home Bargains and Adam's been buying them. But I made one for myself the other day and they're actually really good. Dare I say it, much better than pot noodles because they're wok style. So what you actually do is empty the water out once the noodles are softened and then add your sachet of flavoring. They do lots of different flavours, although to be honest they do all pretty much taste the same. They're all like Chinese flavour, like Chinese style of flavours, but yeah, really good. But my backboard is here, we've carried that up and I'm currently chatting to the guy who is possibly going to come and fit that for me. Yeah, just keeping my eye out for this DPD van to see where it, where it turns up. I have absolutely inhaled those noodles and I'm still starving so I've picked up I have a little stash in my cupboard of snacks and we've got these Jordan's bars, apple and cinnamon, but this just reminds me of those hamster bars. <laughs> I used to work in a pet shop and it just looks like one of those hamster bars that you buy as a treat with all the cereal in it. Still trying to keep my eye out for this DPD van. Not knowing which window it's going to come through. Well, I've been sat here for 45 minutes now and there's nothing as of yet. So they're either running a little bit behind schedule or they can't find me. There's a DPD van and it's just gone past. Is she turning round? No. That could have potentially have been my driver. There's a DPD van pulling back in. I think this is it. Your DPD parcel has been delivered. Yes, Joanne, the absolute queen. This is the first parcel company that has successfully dropped off a parcel at the right address. Okay, so I haven't ordered from this company before. The reason I haven't used my usual person is because they didn't do the quantities I needed and I was having a little panic not knowing what the quality is like, if they're going to turn out properly or not so I'm going to open and show you what I can show you. Firstly, they're all thrown in a box completely loose um, rather than packaged. But the first thing is some 80s drawings I've done. You might be able to see a couple on the wall here. I've got another two on the other side. And they are drawings I did specifically for the studio, for the walls. Um, but I had quite a lot of messages from people saying, are you going to be selling these? I want one, I need one. And I put a poll out on Instagram asking what size, if I was to bring some to the shop, what size would you like? Would you like a postcard size? A4, the ones on the wall are A3, um, and the winning answer was postcard size. So I've ordered the truffle shuffle design, the gizmo design. This one, this next one is very niche, but it is an 80s icon all the same, Freddy Krueger. And lastly, everybody's favorite, which I think is probably gonna sell out the quickest is the labyrinth worm so these are going to be in the shop very soon they're just small ones you could buy like all four and put them in tiny little prints and um, tiny little frames so you've got four on your wall like that or maybe three in a line but i will pop a link to the shop below um, and i can't show you the other things because the other things are cherry mail items I'm just hoping they look all right. It's now Thursday. This is where I'm up to with this week's cake. Um, I baked this last night, brought it in this morning, 
filled it, rough ganached it. Um, I'm about to clean the board up. It's always the messiest stage. And then cover it. I have my nice cup of tea. The camera cut me off again, so I'm not sure how, where it cut me off. But I was just saying, we've been to tool station at dinner time to pick up all silicone and sticky stuff. I'm sorry if I keep looking over here, I'm just checking it's still recording because this is twice it's cut out now. But the backboard is going in on Saturday, which I'm super excited about. Um, like I said, it's a different bloke that's coming to do it for me and I didn't realise how much the prolonged waiting of until the studio was done was getting me down because I'm it's at a standstill. I'm working on cakes. So there's no work being done in the studio and the joiner's not been in touch. So just knowing that somebody is coming on Saturday to put the simplest of things in, such as a backboard, was just so exciting. <laughs> it's just like an extra step forward that from a standstill. So one thing I want to do before I start decorating this cake is I have some new names to put on my Brigadier board. So my Brigadier board lives in the other corner of the room and it's got all my members on it and all their badges. There's a few names I need to take off that have left. There's a few that have upgraded. So maybe they have a teacup badge and they're upgrading to like a cupcake badge. And I have lots of new names to put on there too. One thing I will say with the brigade is that the members are being capped. I don't want this huge, massive group. Obviously, if there were tons of members, I would be rolling in it, but I don't, I don't want that. I want, a nice little group where people get to know each other. We are pretty much like a family in there, giving out advice. And it's not just cake stuff either, it's pretty much everything. Um, and I don't want the like huge numbers to ruin that. So I'm gonna be putting a cap on it soon. We are literally maybe nine or 10 members away from capping it. So if you do want to join, the link is always in the description box. And I'm sure spaces will open up as and when people leave. But for now, that's that's where we're at. So I'm gonna write these new names out and we're gonna go over to the board. just got it finished just in time because they finish at four o'clock on a Friday it is 3 28 which means I've got half an hour left um should be taking photos of this and of course I've left my camera at home <laughs> this is exactly the problem I was talking about I took my camera home last week because it had last week's cakes pictures on it and my camera is still at home um, there's just too much to ferry it back and forth. So I may have to collect the camera at four o'clock, come back down when everyone's gone, <laughs> just to take pictures of it, because she's coming to collect this tonight after five. Um, so we are running very short on time. But this is what the cake ended up being. I'm not even sure I explained what I was making, but as you can tell, it is little baby Yoda. <laughs> who has been left unsupervised by the birthday girl for a couple of minutes and he's decided to help himself to some of the other guests which are the frogs and Stitch looks positively horrified. We do have little frogs hiding and looking very worried. 
Yoda doesn't want cupcakes and sandwiches, Yoda wants frogs. Um, so I've been making Sophia's cakes and Sophia's si older sister's cakes for years since I lived in my very first house. So it's, that's a very long time now and they always like to give me something new to work with. Um, so Sophia couldn't decide between Yoda and Stitch. Now I have made them a Stitch cake before and they don't always like to give me the same theme over and over again but because she couldn't decide I said well we'll do both and this is what it ended up as. But yeah I've got to box it, invoice it, take photos of it, get it home ready for collection and I've got to tidy the studio because my backboard is going up tomorrow. Because um, you can see I've got quite a big gap. don't know if you can see there's a gap between the worktop and the wall. Um, and I didn't want any crumbs and things to get lost down there. But yeah, super happy that that's getting done. I'm going to have to work on cherry mail next week, I think. I've got boxes of cherry mail sitting around that need packaging up and sending out. But I do love doing that, so look what's in. Did I mention I was excited about my backboard going in? It is actually Sunday today. I am in the studio. I know I shouldn't be, but I have a midweek wedding cake for next week which we are delivering on Wednesday to Glasgow. So I'm in here today, gonna start ganashing the cake and then I'm in Monday, Tuesday to decorate it. This is, I'm on the very last couple of midweek cakes now because the midweek were the ones that got rescheduled to midweek because if you're a long time vlog watcher or you've watched my like business type videos, you'll know I try to only take cakes on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I've got a nice, work schedule so every day it has a specific day such as baking on tuesday ganashing on wednesday decorating thursday and that's how it happens every week just so it gives me my weekends off so hopefully i'm on my last couple of those now to get done but i am beyond excited that the backboard is in the backboard in, went in yesterday it should be nice and set now we've left like no trim up there because i think i'm going to put some really shallow shelves across the top of there. But yeah, I know I look a mess, I'm knackered, but I'm happy. I'm loving being in the studio, weird, as weird as it sounds, I know I'm not supposed to work on a weekend, but I actually prefer coming in on the weekend because there's nobody in the building, so I can be, I can play my music a little bit louder, I can talk freely without people being in the next room, like who's she talking to, what she's talking about. So yeah, I'm just here in a completely empty building on my own today and I'm loving it. We um, went to Blackpool last night, so the backboard was fitted. <laughs> How many times have I said that now? Um, but he was off to Blackpool as well, so I don't know if he made it. Um, the fireworks were on. I took my camera and filmed absolutely nothing because we parked on a car park. The sacrifice you make when you find a cheap car park. So it was only £3.70 to park for like five or six hours, but the car park shut at eight and the fireworks didn't start till half past eight. So that meant we had to go back to the car to make sure we weren't locked in. Um, and then we decided to join the queue of traffic that was going down the promenade. But the queue of traffic was so long, we actually were out of Blackpool and in like St Anne's, which is the next town over, um, and still stuck in St Anne's when the fireworks were going off. So you could see them really tiny in the distance going up. So we actually missed them. <laughs> Um, we did have fish and chips for tea though, so that was a bonus. Uh, we all got home absolutely knackered. We're just not cut out for late nights. I say late night, but like 10 past 10 when we got in, but we all just went straight to bed, just so tired. So I'm gonna end the vlog here because you have had a bit of a longer vlog this week. Whilst I'm waiting for my ganache to set, I am gonna start on my cherry mail because I love doing my cherry mail. So I'm gonna get October's box out and I will see you again in the next one.